Alexa, set an alarm for four minutes. Four minutes, starting now. All right, let's see here. Oh, oh, oh what? What's up, my motherfucking goats? I'm watching uh, Westworld. Just getting into Westworld. Pretty good. I'm hooked. Um, yeah, it raises a lot of uh, interesting dilemmas. Ethical dilemmas. AIs don't have souls. Yes, we can kill them. Right? <laughs> Silly. Um, but then it made me think about um, no Pappen. I wanted to ask you, is it okay to jerk off to someone that we know in real life? Or is that considered worse or better than pornography? Let me know in the comments. I think there's a balance with no fap. I think, uh, actually, fuck. I still haven't gone like past 10 days, so I need to go like at least like a month before I can really judge it. I'll get back to you on that. But either way, yeah. You gotta have common sense, like CEOs and successful people all jerk off. Like, it's like, and then plenty of people that are on NoFab aren't successful. Like, it's not the solution to all your problems. Focus, bitch. There you go. Got um, transgender in the queue and person of clout. Westworld's really good though. I recommend it, yeah. There's like, it's pretty much like Grand Theft Auto virtual reality, virtual Grand Theft Auto. I would do that, that's so fun. And uh, you could argue it's good for humanity because it's, it's like, like all the serial killers and rapists could just go there and get all their, and vent out all their frustrations, you know? <laughs> I don't know if that makes me sound like a sicko or what. My neighbor, I have a neighbor that just moved in upstairs. And he, I don't know if what he's doing, but it, he stomps. He stomps around. And uh, I don't know if they made, the apartments just aren't made correctly, but this never happened before with all apartment buildings I've ever lived in. and. It's just like boom, 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 boom. I'll have to, I'll get my camera next time it's happening and I'll show you what it, I think the camera would pick it up. <laughs> I was watching the footage on that last clip and, and the books are conveniently focused and I'm not. Oh yeah, and someone keeps commenting book tour, okay. I'm just gonna say yes, I've read it or no, I haven't. Or 50-50. 50, 50. 50, 50. Yes, yes, no, no, yes, half, 50, 50, <laughs> yes, no, yes, 50, f no, that's like a journal or something, no, yes, 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 <clears throat> um, no, no, yes, no, well, 50, 50, 50, 50, no, yes, 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 well, 50, mm, 50, yes, no, no, 50, 50, yes, no, 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 <laughs> yes, yes, oh, classic, yes. This is such a short read. Um, 
Another classic, yes. Read these both like three, four times. Um, yes, another, <laughs> man, I got all my classics in a, and got my ducks in a row, as my dad would say. These are probably like my dad's three favorite books right here. <laughs> Speaking of Father's Day. Oh yeah, and I thought of doing a, like a Skype. He would probably be down for chatting with, I just, I'd, I'd, I'd rather have him just be in LA though, so I, I don't know how that's gonna turn out. Cause yeah, that was like 400 likes, comment, whatever on the latest chatting with. Uh, yes, oh man, these are, yeah, this is actually my dad's book. This is my grandma's, I think it's, I think it makes my grandma's like autograph is in here, Joyce. It's like, it's an old book. I'm actually, I gotta be careful with this thing. Yeah, Joyce B. Hales. I gotta hold on to this thing. This thing's vintage. Um, yes, this is actually the first self-help book I've ever read when I was 14. And it's a classic, and I it blew my mind. I was like, holy shit! <laughs> like, it just gave me that self-help high, you know? Uh, yes, uh, Pearl, I think, oh yeah. Okay, this is actually, I have two copies of the Pearl. Um, yes, yes, mm, I actually just watched this movie a week ago for the first time, and it was pretty good. It ran about half hour too long though, but then I was, I was looking up and I was reading some reviews, or I guess I'm trying to just get the summary and the symbolism of all the things, and Roger Ebert compares like how long it is to like the long hours of prison and shit and he liked that about it or something but um but no I haven't read the book but I've watched the movie no yes yes um these are like random magazines and shit yes oh yeah this is an old classic comedy writing secrets Yes, this is a classic too, man. Be here now. It's like, it's written like really. Psychedelic dog. Oh shit, Bonnie, careful. Sorry. <clears throat> oh yeah, and I got this. I got this at a uh, white elephant party. It's actually pretty good. I wasn't disappointed. <laughs> the meaning of life. I don't know, I should give some of these away, because... <sighs> like, the ones that I've read, and I don't really... care, especially the duplicates I have. Um... But yeah, now you can stop bothering me about a book tour. I guess I didn't really finish the... This is a Thrasher, like, kind of a photography book on skateboarding history. Or no, it's on Thrasher Magazine's history. Um, when I was young, um, I, I'm such a dumbass, when I was 14 I cut it, I cut out pictures, put them on my wall of a book. <laughs> Calvin and Hobbes, classic, these are classic books I grew up on, comics. My mom spared no expense. You remember like in school in elementary you would come and they would give you like a scholastic catalog or something? My mom would buy me anything. Well, she, when it came to books she'd be like, yeah, I'll buy you whatever you want when it comes to books. She just got me reading. Which I'll do for my kids probably. <clears throat> and I, but also, I think I'm gonna bribe my kids. Like to get good grades, all oh, these are yearbooks. Because my parents didn't, if they were like, we'll give you a hundred dollars for each A or something, I probably would have done way better in school. Because when I was that young, <laughs> I don't know, I'm just not, I just, 
I didn't care. I didn't. It wasn't practical. School. It was so boring and unpractical, you know. Just old magazines, Boston Terriers. This is a controversial book. I read this. Um, I'm not sure what I think of it. What do you guys think of that? Have you, has anyone read this? Guy, it's a neurosurgeon. Previously didn't believe in any kind of <clears throat> heaven, God or anything. Dies in a coma and then <laughs> claims and the whole book's about him going to heaven and stuff. And, uh, I don't know, I still feel like it could be a dream or something, like... And, he, like, it, his, his fellow doctors were telling him that there's no brain activity whatsoever on his thing, whatever he's hooked up to. And so, yeah, there you go, that's my book, t book tour. Book tour! Thanks for watching. I've been, um, I've been, I don't know, I've been kind of going through a little phase where I'm like overthinking things a lot. But, you know, like I go in and come out. <laughs> Why am I like breathing heavy? It's June, guys. It's June. June is a great month. Longest day of the year is on the 21st. It's also my mom's birthday. Family vacation in July. July 4th to the 10th or something. Fun stuff happening. All right, my goats, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Yeah, I gotta keep these silly outros up. Oh, God, let me think of something. Hmm. Alright my bitch ass pussy goats, please slip a little bit of rat poison in that like button's drink and I'll see you tomorrow.